This is Phil Bingham bringing you the TV Fortify News TV broadcast. Sit back and enjoy. Welcome. Today's broadcast, seven issues in the music confession room. Please take a listen. The purpose of this broadcast today is my encouragement to you to establish a confession booth. An apology removes discomfort from the music environment. A music friend provides an environment that is void of discomfort in the environment. Good character seeks to be reconciled and restored in the music environment. The discomfort in the music environment can't be healthy without an apology. An apology in the music ministry provides a healthy environment and a nest without thorns. Who should the music ministry apologize to? The music ministry must apologize and forgive everyone who needs your confession and forgiveness. An apology is a golden bridge to restoration an effectual apology demonstrates good character. The next effectual music ministry apology that you will make will be a golden bridge to restoration. I believe that our confessions and admission of failure is proportional. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father who is in heaven forgive your transgressions. What is a real effectual apology. An apology asks for forgiveness. An apology acknowledges the pain that you have inflicted on others. A plain, uh, an apology has no excuses, no defense or explanations. And an apology has a credible plan to rectify and fix the wrong. Let's listen to David Nealman, executive at JetBlue. Uh, last week, um, and the way that they transpired will never happen again. I just want to outline a few things that we're doing within the next seven days um, and, and, and over the next 30 days. Number one, um, all um, non-airport crew members at JetBlue um, will be badged and ready and trained uh, to go to the airport in the case to help out our crew members to, to, to turn airplanes and to get things going uh, during these, these very difficult times. Did you notice no excuses, no defense, no defensive explanation, just a straightforward acknowledgement of the pain experienced by the passengers and a very credible promise to fix it. You can compare JetBlue's apology to uh, Governor Spitzer's uh, resignation and see that there are inadequacies in his uh, resignation and his apology. There are seven issues and secret issues in the confession booth. Number one, we need to apologize to God, others, and ourselves. Number two, take responsibility for the situation. Number three, prepare a form of restitution whenever possible. Four, build a uh, bridge to possible further negotiations. Number five, articulate an effectual apology. Number six, be humble. Finally, an apology is an investment to a renewed friendship or business relationship. Consider your next apology may be a bridge to your next miracle from God. Thank you.